triggered now a raccoon attack at a park in New Jersey, and now there are concerns the animal may have rabies. CBS 2's Scott Rappaport has more now from Booton Township. Despite the heavily wooded area that you see here, people from around these parts say that animal attacks are really not very common and actually quite unusual, which makes what happened here in this park disturbing to many. Some frayed nerves here in Torn County Park in Boonton Township after park police say a 76-year-old man was attacked by a raccoon. Oh boy, that's not good. Park police say it happened around 8 a.m. Tuesday morning. The man was walking alone in an area known as the White Trail when the raccoon appeared and in an unprovoked attack, police say, bit the man in the thumb and lower leg and ran away, leaving some families here rattled. That's... Really scary because we brought, you know, our family here to go hiking, and that's a scary thought. Thinking that now we're here with young kids, and that could happen to us. Park police say because of the nature of the attack, they suspect the raccoon could be rabid. The victim was taken to a local hospital and treated for rabies. It's concerning. I, uh, you know, I haven't heard of any uh, cases of rabies in, in the area. Late this afternoon, Morris County Park Police say since the overnight hours, they trapped and captured four raccoons, and that one of them could be the one that attacked the 76-year-old man. All of them have been sent for testing, and the results will be available this Friday. After closing the park for parts of Tuesday and early Wednesday, the park is now open again. I did tell the children, just if they do see a raccoon, not to go anywhere near it. Park police are advising park goers to be aware of their surroundings, to steer clear of animals that are nocturnal or acting in an unusual manner, to leave that area, and to keep their dogs on leashes to prevent an incident with an animal in the park. And I can tell you from personal observation, many people here in the park have been keeping their eyes wide open. In Boonton Township tonight, Scott Rappaport, CBS 2 News.